Okay, today, today I'm going to give you a little uh, look at Nmap, which is a great open source free uh, port scanner. Uh, it's available in the package manager uh, for Linux, uh, but you can also uh, get it for Windows and uh, Mac as well, I'm sure. Uh, you might have to compile it yourself if you go that route. Um, if you don't have it installed, <clears throat> depending on your system, whether you use sudo or not, sudo aptitude install nmap and while you're at it also install zenmap go ahead and just hit enter there it'll ask for your password give it your password I already have them installed so I'm not gonna have to do that and once it's done installing um, it's very simple to do a port scan on a machine I'll just do a port scan on my local machine here just to check to see what ports are open I'm gonna do nmap and then I'm gonna do uh, if you don't know this one two 7.0.0.1 uh, is like the universal IP address that basically uh, points you back to localhost. So it's pointing back to the same computer. So I'm scanning the computer I'm running Nmap from. And at this point, I just hit enter. And it was real quick because it's scanning itself. It tells me what ports I have open. I have port 22, which is SSH. I have a web server running, so I have port 80 open. Uh, these two, uh, I believe, have to do with file sharing when it comes to. Um, Microsoft uh, file sharing, Samba if you're in Linux, and uh, port 631 <clears throat> says IPP here. I don't know what IPP stands for, but 631 is the port for um, uh, CUPS, the common Unix printing system, so that my printers uh, work and are able to share through the network. Um, you can also do nmap localhost. Oh does the same thing to scan the local machine. <clears throat> now you can add, uh, there. if you do nmap help, of course it tells you dash dash help. It gives you a bunch of options and you might want to look through a lot of those. I'm going to go over a few of them right now. Um, some of them, as you're about to see, will require uh, root privileges, administrative privileges. Um, so I'm going to do the dash capital O and I'm going to do local host again. And uh, as I just said, I need to be root to do that. Uh, so sudo, and we'll ask for your password if you haven't typed it in already. And here we go. It gives you a similar output, tells you all the, uh, the ports that are open. But at the same time, the O switch that we added added uh, operating system detection so it tells me what operating system that computer is running so uh, I'm running Linux and I'm running a 2.6.7 or th somewhere through 2.6.7 uh, to 2.6.25 uh, kernel and network distance it says zero hops because I'm coming back to the same computer it didn't go anywhere uh, okay so now uh, let me show you how to scan a range of computers. So, uh, <clears throat> if we do ifconfig, we can see what my IP address is right here, 192.168.1.3, that's my local IP. Um, so if we do nmap, we can do uh, 192.168.1. And we can go uh, range from 1 through 10 just by using a little dash there like that. So now, it's not just scanning my computer, it's scanning uh, nine computers, one through 10. And, or, yeah, 10, actually 10 computers. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> so there we are, it came back. And uh, this one, the 1 1.1 and 1 1.2 are both my routers, one's acting as a repeater. Um, this one has Telnet open and uh, HTTP, so they both have uh, web interfaces for them. Uh, this router I actually have Linux running on it, so I also have SSH uh, installed on it. Uh, and I can open up other things on there as well. Um, this is my computer. And 1.4, I believe, is my new cell phone, which is on the network also running Linux. Uh, so and at the end it gives you a summary. There are four hosts up and it scanned them in 13, almost 14 seconds. It scanned 10 IPs. 
which makes sense. It's early in the morning. That's why my math was off earlier. Um, <laughs> and once again, you can also add the O command there, the O switch. Once again, sudo for that. And it's going to scan those computers again. Now, sometimes commands, uh, scans take a long time, depending on what type of scan you're doing and how much you're scanning. But if you just press keys on the keyboard while this is running, it gives you a little update on information, how long it's scanning and an estimated time remaining. It says estimated five seconds, but now it says estimated eight seconds. It gives you a percentage done. As long as that percentage done keeps going up, you're at least moving forward. It's taking a little, little, bit, little bit longer this time uh, because, um, because we're doing the... Uh, uh, OS detection. So it's got to try to figure out what operating system each of these computers are running. And they're actually all except for my Netgear router are running Linux. And I don't know what the default firmware on there. It might be some form of Linux. It'd be kind of interesting to find out. So actually, I'm going to let that keep running. And I'll open up another terminal so that we can see the end results for that later. Uh, make this a little bit bigger. Now, um, if I do nmap, I can also do uh, scan for just ports. So you see how long that uh, operation is taken because it's scanning a large range of ports on all those machines. Um, I can do uh, 1 through 10 again. This time I can do dash p and say 22. So now it's only going to scan for port 22 on each of those machines. and uh, which is the SSH port uh, for remote remote login, secure shell. I'm going to hit enter. And there, that was pretty fast. And you can see it did it in less than a second. And it scanned the same range that took 13 seconds before, but since it's not scanning all those IPs on all those machines, it came back a lot faster, and it showed just the ones with that port open. So one of my routers, this computer I'm running on, and my cell phone. So, <clears throat> now you can also do a range of computers like so. You can put an asterisk here, and it'll scan from 0 through 255. Uh, you can also put an asterisk here. Now you're getting into <laughs> 255 times 255, whatever that equals out to. That's how many uh, computers you're scanning. And uh, by default, um, Nmap doesn't scan all ports on a machine because it's was it 360,000 there's there's a lot of ports available on a machine I can't remember the exact number it's quite a bit so it scans the most common ports you can change that by doing uh, choosing your machine and doing P and you can do a range of ports like so so let me actually put that in and I'll just scan my router there. And so there, it's actually scanning less ports than normal. But you can put it up to there. This is how many ports. OK, 65,000. That's how many ports are available on a machine. So there, I'm scanning quite a range of ports. This scan is still going, but it's almost there. Let's think, is there anything else I can show you? I've got about a minute left. I don't think that's going to finish in time. But uh, play around with Nmap. It's a really great security tool to find open ports uh, on your local machine, on your local network. Um, and just, you know, look up more on it and use Nmap dash dash help for all your options or Nmap. You can do manual and see the manual. This thing finished. And what did it find? It found. Uh, this one is a Linksys uh, or Netgear. This is my Netgear router. Uh, then we've got my router running DDWRT, which is Linux. Uh, then we've got my computers running Linux, and that took 236 seconds. So anyway, I'm out of time. Have a great day. Visit bashscripts.info for more command line tutorials like this and videos and scripts. Have a great day.